Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Our Mass presider is Reverend Monsignor Albert Venus. Please stand and join the choir in singing the entrance song. Arise, 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 arise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Blessed Trinity. We call upon the Lord to cleanse us, to purify us, so that we can receive the fullness of the love of God. We humble ourselves and ask God for pardon for our sins. You were hen sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God of mercy in us forgive us our sins and bring us a life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. And on earth is to be all to be.
Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race a wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground and worshipped. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. To the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him 
might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good noon to all of you, sisters and brothers. Good noon, Father. You know, on the opening of classes, there's this teacher in kindergarten um, when she met her pupils for the first time she began to distribute a piece of paper with a box of crayon. Sabi niya sa mga bata, draw something they think is interesting. Then she observed them while they drew, occasionally walking around to see their progress. Then there was this, you know, cute little um, pupil at the end no, uh, of the aisle and she was so absorbed in her work that the teacher uh, approached her and asked her what are you drawing? Alam nyo ang sagot ng bata I am drawing God So nagulat yung teacher sabi niya but how is that? No one knows what God looks like. Wala pong pagdadalawang isip, sagot ng bata. You will know, teacher, when I'm done. Muntik na pong natakbo yung teacher. Baka angel na ito at sinusundo na siya. Alam niyo, mga kapatid, mystery does not mean we do not know anything about it. Amen? Rather, we know something, but we cannot know everything. And the greatest and the most profound mystery of all is what we celebrate this Sunday. The mystery of the most holy trinity. Sabi ko nga po, ito'y isang misteryo. Kaya, um, siguro, wag nating pag-usapan yung paano na ang isang Diyos ay tatlong persona. Mas maganda siguro ituon natin ang ating refleksyon doon sa pagsagot ng bakit? Bakit ipinahayag ng Diyos ang misteryong ito? Well, the importance of this doctrine, sisters and brothers, lies in this. That we are made in the image of God. So, the more we understand God, the more we understand ourselves. Sabi nga ng mga eksperto sa reliyon, no? people always try to be like the God they worship. Do you believe that? You know, people who worship a warrior God tend to be warmongering. People who worship a God of pleasure tend to be pleasure-seeking. People who worship a God of love tend to be loving. Therefore, the more important question for us to ask today is, what does the doctrine of the Blessed Trinity tells us about the kind of God we worship? And what does this say about the kind of people we should be? Sa ating pong banal na san tatlo, narito po ang tatlong larawan ng ating iisang Diyos. Una po, larawan ng Ama. Ganyan po ang kanyang pagpakilala ng kanyang sarili. Bilang isang Ama, isang magulang. Bilang Ama, He's the Creator Provider. Sa Kanya galing ang lahat ng mayroon tayo. Bilang isang magulang, ang ating kapakanan, ang laging laman ng kanyang isip, ibinibigay niyang anumang bagay para sa ating kabutihan. Uunahin niya tayo bago ang kanyang sarili. O ang ating sinasambang Diyos, 
mga kapatid ay inilalarawan bilang isang ama o isang magulang, tanong po ay, sinisikap din kaya nating isa buhay ang pagiging mapagbigay? Iniisip din ba natin na kapakanan ng ating mga minamahal bago ang ating sarili? Yun din kayang ikinabubuti ng minamahal ang ating pinahahalagahan. Do we give only what is good in us and what is good for them? Ang mga magulang kasi, they always make sure that they give only what is best in them. Yung hindi maganda sa kanila, maari ay ikinukubli sa kanilang mga minamahal. They try to be the best in front of their loved ones. Because they only want what to give what is best in them. And what would be best for their loved ones. Kaya minsan, nagtatampo yung mga anak, no? O kahit asawa. Kasi hindi binibigay yung inihingi. Nakailang parinig na ito. Pero bakit hindi binibigay? Eh kasi ho, ang magulang laging nakatuon kung ano yung ikabubuti. Kapag nakikita niyang baka ikapahamak mo, hindi niya ibibigay. No? Kahit alam niya, masakit sa loob niya kasi matatampo ka. But he does it because he loves you. Ganon din ang Diyos. Hindi po lahat ng ating inihingi binibigay niya mas niya nakakaalam ano yung ikabubuti natin at alam din niya yung ikapapahamak natin. We just have to put our trust in Him because He's our Father who loves us so much. Pangalawa pong katangiang kitang-kita sa mga magulang ay ang kanilang pagiging mapag-unawa at mapagpatawad. Ano mang ating maging pagkasala o pagkukulang laban sa kanila, sa dulo ay laging kapatawaran. Walang magulang na hindi marunong magpatawad, hindi marunong umunawa. Mga kapatid, kung ito ang larawan ng ating Diyos, isa na sa buhay din kaya natin ang mga katangiang ito. Pangalawa po, ang larawan ng Diyos anak, si Jesus. Ang pinakagusto kong larawan niya no, ay yung kanyang sinabing siya ay mabuting pastol. Isang mabuting pastol. This is the image I love most with Jesus. Bakit mabuting pastol? Ba't di mabuting abogado, teacher, no, engineer? No? Eh kasi ho, sa pagiging pastol, Iisa lang ho ang katangi ang hinahanap. Pwedeng wala siyang napag-aralan, no ho? Pwedeng wala siyang mukha, no ho? Hindi magaling man nagsalita. Pero ang katangi ang ito, dapat meron siya para maging pastol. At ano po yun? Ang pagiging mapag-malasakit. Ang pagiging mapag-malasakit. Ang mga tupa kasi ang sinasabing pinakabobo sa lahat ng mga hayop. Kaya, napakaselang alagaan. Kailangan mo ng matinding pagmamalasakit. Kahit nakikita na niyang nauhulog sa bangin ang nauna sa kanya, ang tupa, didiretso pa rin yan. Hanggang mahulog. Meron tayong sabi dyan eh, walang kadaladala. Kahit alam na ikapapahamak niya, sige lang ito. Mga kapatid, di ba parang tayo yon, Tayo mga tao. Alam na nating ikakapahamak, ikasasama, pero walang kadaladala. Mga kapatid, kaya nga, tama lang yatang tawagin tayong mga anak ng tupa. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit ang katangi ang ginahanap sa isang tunay na pastol ay ang pagmamalasakit. Sa pagmamalasakit ng isang pastol, handang ipagtanggol ang tupa at itaya ang kanyang buhay. Maligtas lamang ang kanyang kawan. Ito si Jesus, ang mabuting pastol. Mga kapatid, kung siya ang ating sinasambang Diyos, taglay din kaya natin ang katangiang 
pagiging mapagmalasakit. Nakikitaan din ba kaya tayo ng pagmamalasakit ng ating mga minamahal sa buhay? Nakikitaan din kaya tayo ng pagmamalasakit ng ating mga kasambahay, kapitbahay, kaopisina, kapwa, o lalong-lalo na yung mga kapuspalad, pulubi, at mga walang-wala. May puwang din kaya sila sa puso natin. Ang ganda ng sabi ni Mara Teresa, Real love is when you start to look for somebody nobody cares. Nobody cares. And then, you love that person with all your heart. That is Jesus' kind of love. My dear sisters and brothers, kung si Jesus po ang sinasamba natin, tanong po eh, have you become Jesus to somebody? This past month, to whom have you become Jesus? Kanino ka naging Jesus? Ang pangatlo po ay Espiritu Santo. Wala sang larawan kasi Espiritu. Meron pero mo sang mga tanda, alapate, no? ah, yung uh, langis, apoy, hangin. Ito po yung madalas na tanda ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Kasi nung nililikha pa lang ang sanlibutan, in the book of Genesis, sinabi nga, isang malakas na hangin ang humawi sa, sa tubig ng dagat at dito ay umusbong ang lupain. Diyan nagsimula ang buhay. Sa maraming pagkataon, naki, nakakatagpo nila ang Diyos sa mga bundok na kung saan po sa mga yungib, ang una nila naramdaman ay ang pagdating ng malakas na hangin. At yan ay sinyales na dumarating na ang Panginoon. At siyang kanyang Espiritu ay nananahan na. Kahit sa Pentecostes last week, no? nasabi rin niya, no? isang hangin. Lalo nga yung panahon ng tag-init, no? napakasarap no? yung um, feeling no? ng isang banayad na hangin, lalo na ito ay malamig-lamig ang simoy. Bakit? It gives comfort. It refreshes us. It eases our tired bodies. Yung ating napapagal na katawan, nabibigyan ng kapahingahan, natatanggal ang kapagurahan. Mga kapatid, ganito po ang dating ng Holy Spirit. If we welcome Him in our lives, He comes to give us comfort, refuge, consolation. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, He will be your friend who will guide you who will be your advocate. Alam niyo ang ibig sabihin ng advocatus? Eh, ito po ay, sa Latin, no? Ang kahulugan ay, the one who walks beside you. Advocate. The one who walks beside you. He will be there to defend you, to protect you, to plead your cause. No? Because He is the one who walks beside you. Diba napakasarap po isipin yan? No? Wherever we go, the Spirit of God goes with us. Kaya, we need not fear because the Advocate is there. Sabi nga, He will, give, he will plead our cause. He will assist us and give what we are asking for. Naalala ko yung sa isang uh, Paris po, yung unang Paris assignment ko, assistant lang po ako. At ako po yung nagmimisa sa umaga um, kasi nag-aaral pa ako noon so, sa akin ang morning mass. And um, karamihan po nagsisimba ng umaga matatanda. Nababawasan na sila kasi nasa kabaong na yan sa hapon, sa libing, no? At uh, bihibihira pong may naliligaw na bata sa umaga. Six o'clock mas. Till one time, I notice, aba, meron pong dalaga na nagsisimba every morning. At nagpapaiwan pa sa pagkatapos ng misa. Siya din po ang aking kaugalian. I, I do my morning prayers after the mass. When I have received the Lord. Nakikita ko sa sa isang sulok sa kabila side. 
At minsan po ay nakasabay kaming lumabas, lumapit siya, nag-amen, no? And uh, biniro ko siya, sabi ko, taimtim ang dasal mo. Ano ba ang dinadasal mo? Kanino ka ba nagdadasal? Kasi nandun po yung mga imahen eh. Si San Roque, no? nandun si St. Jude, nandun po yung San Antonio de Padua, at kung sino pa. Kasi gusto kong hulaan kung ano ang kanyang inihingi. Sabi niya, eh, hindi po, doon po ako sa kalapate. Eh, nakita ko, meron pa nga naman palang symbol of Holy Spirit. No? Kaya po, sabi ko sa kanya, ba, matindi ang inihingi mo. Ayaw mo nang dumaan kay San Roque o kay San Antonio, direct line ka sa Holy Spirit. Sabi ka, ano bang iyong pinagpipray at inihingi? Sabi niya, humihingi po ako ng boyfriend. ng mapangasawa ko at maging tatay na maging anak ko. Sabi ko, pwede naman kay St. Jude ah. Ba't diretso ka na doon? Ano bang katangi ang inihingi mo? No, baka sobra namang taas ang iyong uh, katangi ang inihingi. No? Sabi niya, ay, hindi po mahalaga akong pangit. Hindi rin mahalaga ako wala sa masadong pinag-aralan. Hindi rin mahalaga ako siya ay matangkado payat. No? Hindi rin mahalaga kung bansot siya o mataba at sabay tingin sa akin. Sabi ko, sister, taken na ako. Too late <laughs> ang aking pabiru sa kanya. Then, sabi, then, you know, she made a statement that struck me most. Alam niyo ho, ang katangyang hinihingi ko ito lang na mas mahal niya ang Diyos kesa sa akin. Yun lang. Okay na ako maging number two, basta't number one niya si Lord. Wow. Sabi ko, sa Holy Spirit ka nga humingi niya. No? Bihira ang ganyan. No? Extraterrestrial yata yan. Baka angel. No? Eh, alam niyo po, a couple of months later, nakita ko sa may katabi na sa ang nagdadasal. Sa lalaki. Wow, sabi ko, hindi sa binigo ng Holy Spirit. Kasi binigay na lalaki, pangit. Ayun naman ang sinabi niya, kahit pangit na we. No? Kaya pag nagdasal kayo, tumbukin niyo maigi. No? Seryoso ang Holy Spirit. Pag humingi ka ng pangit, hindi pangit, ibibigay. No? Pero may sinabi siya eh, yung mahal ng Diyos kesa sa Kanya. Na mumukaan ko yung lalaki. Kasi, volunteer catechist siya sa kabilang Paris. At minsan po lumapit sa akin yon. Sabi niya, paano ba pumasok ng seminaryo magpari? Sabi ko, eh di, mag-exam ka doon. Ginawa yata, pero tinanggihan siya ni Lord. Alam niyo si Lord Masilan, mga gwapo lang po ang pinipili niya maging pari. <laughs> Kaya nagtataka ko si Bad... Si Brother Arun, ba't hindi naging pare, no? Eh, gwapo naman siya. Ha? Eh, alam niyo ho, um, kiddingly aside, no? Ako po yung nagkasal sa kanila, nagbinyag ng panganay na anak. No? But, this is one thing that struck me most. Indeed, the Holy Spirit is a paraclete. He is the advocate who will walk beside us. hindi niya tayo bibiguin. He will assist us in all our needs. He will be there to grant what we are asking for, that we will live a victorious Christian life. But my dear sisters and brothers, is He the most welcome guest of your life? If we receive the Holy Spirit, there is another challenge. The challenge is how He has been with us A refuge, a consoler, a guide, a teacher, an inspirer, you should also be to others. Kung tunay po ang sinasamba natin ay Diyos Ama, Anak, at Espiritu Santo, then nakikita dapat sa buhay natin ang mga katangian nito. Amen. Tayo po itumayo. Let us profess our faith to the Triune God as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, ages. God, God from God, God light, light from light, from light true God, God from, from true God, God begotten, begotten not, made, not made, consubstantial with, with the Father. Father. Through him all him things, all were, made, things were made, for us, for us men and for our salvation, salvation he came down, down from, from heaven, heaven, and by the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin, Virgin Mary and became, and became man. man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. The Father, through the Holy Spirit, has sent Christ, His Son, to dwell among us and has made Him a source of life for us. Let us raise our petition to the Triune God as we pray. Lord, God of love, hear our prayer. God of love, hear our prayer. That the church and her leaders may help us in our frailty and provide us with gifts that will make us pleasing to you. We pray, God of love, hear our prayer. That our civil and political leaders may be filled with the Holy Spirit so that with his strength and wisdom, May able to serve your people, we pray. God of love, hear our prayer. That the wayward, the sick, the lonely, and those who suffer in any way may find consolation in those who care for them, we pray. God of love, hear our prayer. That our communities may be bound together in friendship and unity as we partake in the Eucharist every day. We pray, God of love, hear our prayer. That the dead may share in your glory, the glory too of your Son and the Holy Spirit. We pray, God of love, hear our prayer. Father, you sent your word to bring us the truth and your spirit to make us holy. Help us to worship you, one God, in three persons. By proclaiming and leaving our faith in you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We bring unto you our gratitude. We lift up to you. Thank you. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that as sacrifice you made acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Sanctify children. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make, us, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim to and the seraphim, who never cease to cry each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a jewel, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, say, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of you, an eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us, O oh, we pray, that we the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we the blessed Apostles, St. Joseph, and all oh, the saints who please you to all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O oh, God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, Glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teachings, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Happy indeed are we invited to receive him in this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you.
May we call Brother Arun on stage? In behalf of Feast Alabang, not just Feast Bellevue, Monsi, Albert, we would like to say thank you for journeying with us for many years. Si Monsi po ay lilipat ng ibang parish. We are under San Roque Parish where Father uh, Monsignor Albert is the parish priest. And since he was there being our father, he has supported us so much. Alam niyo to pong paglipat natin dito sa Bellevue. Nag-meeting muna kami nila, Monsi, with the other builders. And we, we ask permission from him. Kasi kung hindi siya, hindi niya tayo ibibless dito, we will not uh, be here. Yun ang sinabi ko sa kanya. Sabi ko, Monsi, pag hindi kayo pumayag sa amin, we'll just stay in the in the mall. And siya kaagad, ako, I will follow you there. Ganon, very, very supportive si Monsignor sa atin. Sa movement ng ating banal na espiritu sa ating community. So, we would like to say thank you so much, Monsi, for many years of being with us, saying yes to our uh, crazy dreams of getting bigger and bigger every time. Malaki po ang puso ni Monsi. Hindi lang siya malaki, mas malaki ang puso niya. No? Yan ang totoong-totoo, lalo na pag nakasama ninyong kausap. Walang sinasabing negative yan si Monsi. Lahat positive sa kanya. Maganda po ang outlook ng kanyang buhay. Kaya siya po ay ililipat ng, ng parokya na ang aming hiling ay paminsan-minsan kung pwede nyo kaming madalaw po dito para kayo ay mag-misa po sa amin. Can, you, can we pray for you? Monsi, is it okay? We will, can, can we all stand? Let's pray for our friend, our father here. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Can we lay our hands upon Monsi? Father in heaven, we thank you for giving to us a gift, a friend, a father figure here in our feast. And that is Monsignor Albert. And we ask that you continue to bless him in his ministry, in his health. Surround him with good friends wherever he will go. We ask that you continue to use him powerfully and mightily to bring more people closer to your embrace. As he says yes to many of our wishes and our prayers, we also ask that you say yes to all his dreams. Protect his calling, O Lord. May he continue to serve you many, many more years in His life. And this is our prayer. And we send Him to where you want Him to go with love. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, the Lord our God, Bring us health of body and soul as we confess our eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the blessing, I'd like to, to thank you also. Um, um, the feast is a blessing to the parish of San Roque. Again and again, I am telling all the priests uh, in the diocese how much you have blessed us. Um, um, and hindi lamang po sa mga dasal, no? Kundi, you know, we will not forget all the outreaches, no? That you have done for the poor, sa mga nasunugan, sa mga may problema sa mata, no? And even scholarship, no? Ay uh, beneficiary po ang San Roque uh, for all the goodness that is overflowing here. And um, bagamat hindi po kami lagi nakakapunta dito, daman po namin ang inyong mga panalangin and uh, kayo rin po ay lagi namin ipinagdadasal um, we, we are thankful for all the peace builders lahat po sila ay uh, dumalaw sa San Roque to give Advent, Lenten recollections 
And uh, there were a lot of members po dito na nagbo-volunteer po sa San Roque. And um, di naman po nagsiselo si Brother Arun. No? Um, we are really blessed. You are a blessing to us. Not just to the parish, but also to the diocese. I know how Bishop Jess loves this community. And of course, to the church. So, we will continue to pray for you. And um, I will be going to Las Piñas no? and uh, Our Lady of Fatima in Film Life Homes. This is the centennial of Fatima. And I will be lifting up to the Blessed Mother in her prayers all your needs and petitions. So, Thank you so much once again. Thank you, Father. In a very special way, I also would like to return the favor and pray over uh, Brother Arun on his birthday, June 15. Very special for me because that's the birthday of my father also. So let's extend our hand towards Brother Arun. Lord, here is your servant leader, Lord, who has given his life, his strength, everything he has to proclaim your goodness, your love to people, to let you be known, O oh Lord. Lord, he is your mouthpiece. Lord, who has touched, enlightened so many people. He is your hands, Lord, who have been praying over people and they are filled, O oh Lord, with your graces because of his prayers done from his heart filled with so much love for you. Lord, as we celebrate this feast of the Holy Trinity, Father God, continue to provide for his needs, his family. Continue, O oh Lord, to create ways and means that he can reach out to more. Lord Jesus, you are our good shepherd. Be a good shepherd to Brother Arun and the plaque you have entrusted to him. Mold his heart, melt his heart, fill his heart with all the graces so that he can be able to mirror yourself as a good shepherd to this community and to the others that you are sending to him. Holy Spirit, empower his heart. Set his heart on fire. Fill him with all the gifts and make it overflow to also fill the hearts of his family and all his co-workers in this vineyard. Oh, Holy Spirit, enrich their lives with holiness, peace, love, and joy that never ends. All this we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy birthday. The Lord be with you. And with yours. May spirit. Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Yeah.